four words. Shopify Unite Summer 2023. Okay, I know the number is not a word, but you know where I'm going with this. That means Shopify has released another set of good updates for us to take a look at. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't even gone through the previous Shopify Unite update. And here we are. We have another set of good updates to take a look at. So, unfortunately, we're not going to take a look at everything because it's going to take a long time if I do that. So, instead, we're going to take a look at one update, and that's going to be about Shopify Hydrogen. So, enough of talk. Let's do that after this intro. Hello and welcome back to Weekly How. My name is Bernard and today we'll be taking a closer look at one of the brand new updates that came from Shopify Unite Summer 2023 and that is the custom storefront. So I've planned to include a reaction video in this video but I feel like it's a low effort video so instead I will just conclude what I learned from watching that video. But if you're interested to watch that video yourself, you can check out the description below I've included that right there. So with that being said, there are three main points that I really like after watching that video. Number one, Hydrogen CLI is even better at building projects when you build a new project, of course. Finally, there are components, routes, and utilities that you can use to develop an online store faster, meaning you don't have to create the pages like cart, products, collections, etc. The CLI will even create components like paginations, the search bars, buttons, and so on. There's just so many components to use when you create a new Shopify Hydrogen project. Number two, you can finally use mock.shop to generate or use products and collections. No, they are not real products. They're basically just a placeholder data that you will need to replace when you connect your Hydrogen app to a development store. So when you create a new Hydrogen app, by default, you will have this mock.shop. Unless if you create Hydrogen app, you specifically say do not use mock.shop. But just to summarize, all of this is just a placeholder data. They're not real products, just to keep that in mind. And number three, lastly, this is one of my favorites. You can finally use an alias to execute Shopify Hydrogen commands. So instead of running Shopify Hydrogen dev, you can use H2 space dev, which is of course, shorter compared to Shopify Hydrogen dev command. And that's pretty much it. I know I could have mentioned other things like you can use CSS frameworks like Tailwind CSS. And if you want to use TypeScript, you can. But I didn't. We'll just figure it out later in this video because we're going to start a new project. Am I glowing? I'm glowing. Okay, so jokes aside, just ignore the sunlight. Um, the sun is literally shining in front of me. But jokes aside, just keep in mind, all of these things that I mentioned can definitely disappear or just change. Because literally, the last two videos that I made previously, they're just out of data instantly. So yeah, unfortunately, that can happen. So if you're one of those people who watched my last two videos, um, you can just continue here and we'll start again from scratch, okay? So that being said, let's go back to our computer and build a new Shopify Hydrogen app. Okay, so we're back here in our computer. I will be using Windows instead of Mac OS. But don't worry, all steps are going to be similar regardless of what operating system you're using. The only thing that you need to make sure that you have is Node.js as well as NPM. So I'll also include the following resources in the description below. So if you want to check it out, it's right there. But if you take a look here, we have the following requirements, like I said. Node.js and NPM. So by default, when you install or go to Node.js.org and download the LTS um, installer, you should have Node.js as well as NPM by default when you install them. If you don't know how to install this, you can check out YouTube videos online. There's plenty of videos out there that you can check out. I'm not gonna go through the entire process of installing Node.js and NPM. So make sure that you do that first before continuing this video. And once you have NPM installed, you should be able to run the following command, npm create, and then the package Shopify Hydrogen, okay? So that's what we're going to do. That's the only thing that we need to do, in fact. All we need to do is just run this. So let's go back to VS Code, and then open a new terminal, and then we're going to do that here, 
we're going to execute this command here. But before we do that, I will just open my projects folder. So what you can do is you can create a new folder by using the mkdar command and then name your folder between um, double quotes. This is going to be named Shopify Hydrogen Projects. It's always a good practice to put your projects inside a directory. Now next, we're going to change our current directory to this folder, Shopify, Hydrogen, and then Projects. You can always press Tab to complete what you're writing, and then you can press Enter, and that should open that directory. And now here, we can start writing npm, space, and then hyphen V if you want to check your npm version. I do have 9.5.0. I think I do have to um, update that. But once you have that, that means you can run npm, space, create, space arrobas or at symbol and then shopify forward slash hydrogen and then arrobas or at symbol and then latest you don't have to type latest in fact but it's always a good practice to download the latest version okay so if you execute this command it should start downloading that package so notice that it's asking me to install the following package shopify create hydrogen and I could just press Y and then press Enter to continue. And that should start downloading it. Now let me just maximize my terminal so you guys can see what's going on. And once that's installed, it's going to ask you if you want to connect your Shopify Hydrogen app to a Shopify online store or Shopify account, or if you want to use mock.shop. Let's try and use mock.shop because this is our first time doing it. So let's try that. I'll select that. And the next question is going to be, where would you like to create your storefront? And it's going to ask you for a name. Let's just call this project new hyphen Shopify hyphen online store just like that press enter and then the next question is it will ask you to select a language do you want to use javascript or typescript you can always select either of these two so just press enter and then the next question is going to be about your styling library. Do you want to use CSS framework like Tailwind? Do you want to use CSS modules, vanilla extract, or just pure CSS? Or if you want, you can skip this and then install your libraries later on. But I don't want to do that. We'll just use Tailwind CSS in this case. And then the next question is, do you want to install these dependencies using NPM? If you want to use NPM, you can select yes. Otherwise, you can select no if you want to use something else like yarn. So let's do that. Let's use or select yes. And then the next question would be about, do you want to create a global H2 alias to execute the commands instead of npx Shopify hydrogen? So let's do that. We'll select yes. But later on, we're going to need to um, set up the, um, the H2 alias but we're not going to do that directly in this video we'll just select yes okay so next is do you want to scaffold routes and core functionalities this will create the routes and then the components so let's just select yes and then the last question is about shopify markets if you want to create an online store with multiple languages or locales so here you can select what type or structure url structure do you want do you want a subfolder do you want subdomains top level domains or you can just set this up later we'll just set this up later because we're going to do this in a separate video and once you press enter, it's going to create the routes, the components, and install the dependencies. And once that's done, you should have the following. Now we can go to the folder by executing the command change directory and then the name of our folder and then npm run dev. In the meantime, we still don't have the h2 command. So if you execute h2, it's not going to work. So let me just clear my terminal and type h2. And notice that it's not yet working because you still need to set that up. We're going to do that in a separate video. But let's just continue. Let's change our directory to the following CD. And then the name is going to be new. And then press tab. And that should open or select that folder. Press enter. And now we can execute npm run dev. And then what it's going to do is it's going to um, run the hydrogen dev command and then 
inject the secret keys or secret words and then the public store domain to oxygen and once that's finished you should have the following url you can open this and you should have your online store and that's pretty much it for this video and honestly i am so excited for this update there's so much new things to take a look at the ai the checkout and hydrogen and just just there's a lot of new APIs to just check out and it's just making my heart beat so fast and that's cringy but you get my point. So in the future videos we're going to just focus on taking a look at these things and that means we'll be taking a break from making Shopify hydrogen uh, videos. Instead we'll be taking a look at this new update and just enjoy it. Okay. Now I apologize if some people wouldn't like that because I know some of you are looking forward to Shopify hydrogen videos but for now let's take a break a little bit and just focus on these new updates, okay? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by, of course, liking this video and sub to the channel if you want more videos like this. Now, I'll catch you guys next time.